we all have heard in the news that there's a indian startup who has made rocket completely almost completely out of using additive manufacturing let's say i'm the ceo you are the chief scientist okay what are we building first we would approach the defense organizations the space organizations they would have problems and they would have certain things which they would be happy if we can give something better or equivalent to whatever they have but at a faster rate in terms of lead time in terms of the prototyping in terms of the designing any of that and then in industry as well this is a little bit of market research that would be required who are the first five people we need to hire to make this real i would need another a proper metallurgy background phd who has a good understanding of several alloys as well as if they have an understanding of some solidification process or additive manufacturing process that would be great i would need one person in computation and modeling side i would obviously need someone who would take care of the machine all the basic stuff while we are doing the engineering stuff who would be taking care of how okay this has to be started this has to be done and then taking care of the printing process all together one last person someone who is kind of a good hearted curious enthusiastic person who would want to learn this i mean could be from any background then learn this from clean slate and make you guys question yes that'll be a nice team when we are printing something we would have to do characterization i would need a team for that i think at least another two three people so we will not be focused on just one thing we would have a lot of diversity in the work plus it would be interesting to different things happening you know like oh wow okay oh this can be done oh this can be done someone comes up with a new material and they want to manufacture something interesting and challenging so i think anything that would make us feel every day that we are looking forward to do something to make it a reality to have 10 people size team to have those machines to manufacture those parts so what is the funding do we need to start with let me just think okay let's say we get few orders where we want to make parts so we need one machine just for r and d consider two machines okay let's say two machines for r and d as we scale we would need more machines bare minimum even if we get this two and we set up the team the place and all these small small things systems computers yeah, yeah, simulators so i think it would go to 10 crores okay we would be able to sustain for some time until we start getting it to the production level where we have a constant order like someone wants us to manufacture or do something once we have that I mean slowly we can I believe we can start much lower. There is always jugad. We can we can always start as low as we can.